Okay, we're going to begin tutorial number six. Go file new, 8 by 10, 300. And the next tool we're going to explore is the lasso tool, and there's three of them there. If I click and hold the tool, and we're going to use the first one, just the regular lasso tool. And the lasso tool is a really quick way to select. Um, it is by no means precise, but it is fast. Um, and it, wherever we click and hold, it's going to basically cut it out. So I can quickly cut out this flower and the little bit of around it. I need to make sure that I complete my shape by getting right back to the starting point. And then I can grab my move tool and bring over my rows, which I have selected. Um, this works a little bit better if you happen to have a tablet um, and a stylus, but if not, it's a quick way with the mouse just to grab and drop um, a picture from another image. Okay, for our next tutorial, we are going to learn about the other lasso tool, the polygonal lasso, which is the second one. This is a great tool for cutting things out that are straight edged, but that are not in um, a perfect square or rectangular shape. So I just click um, on my points to cut out any, like I said, straight edge shape. And once you complete your shape, you will get that circle telling you that you've done a good job. And then I can make a new composition, 8 by 10, perfect. Grab my move tool and take my perfectly cut out stop sign into my new collage. Our last of the lasso tools is the magnetic lasso, sorry, and it is found here at the very bottom. And the magnetic lasso is a smart tool, so it can see different uh, specifically high contrast images. So all I'm doing is uh, I clicked once, and then I'm just moving the cursor in the general area of the edge that I want to define, and it's finding that difference, that contrast, and it's laying those anchor points for me. I'm not doing anything. I'm not clicking. I'm not holding the mouse. I'm literally just drawing, if you will, the general outline of the duck, uh, just guiding it. And then once I get to the end, I do need to click it to engage the end. I've done a great job. Grab the move tool and move my rubber ducky into my collage.